Hi, this is a video review for this quadcopter that I received and um, right now I'm just going to show you the packaging and what's inside and then we'll take it out and give it a test, see how it does. I have to test inside today because it's like 10 degrees outside and nobody wants to be outside when it's 10 degrees out. So this is the box, if you can see it here. Very cool little packaging here. Holy Stone has some good packaging. Let's open it up and see what we got. So right here is your basic user's manual. It tells you what each thing does on the remote. I'm going to go ahead and give that to my husband because he's the quadcopter expert. I will say the user's manual is pretty simple. I'm used to more elaborate ones, so that's kind of refreshing. Um, and they have QR codes so you can visit the stores and stuff. And let's see, what do we have in here? Wow, that's a big controller for such a little quadcopter. I was not expecting that. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Holy cow, look at this. Okay, here's my hand. Here's this controller. This thing's huge. So it needs batteries still. I'll go ahead and put batteries in it. Um, these never come with batteries. I don't know. I'm sure it takes double A's. Yep. Uh, wow. Six double six triple A's. Okay, six triple A batteries. That's a little better, but wow, that's a lot of batteries. What else do we have in here? We have a charger, it's your standard quadcopter charger, extra blades, those are a necessity. And then here is the quadcopter, so you can see right here's the battery, and this thing's just, just big enough to hold a battery pretty much is all it is, it's so cute. Uh, again, here's my hand, I'll get some dimensions on the written part of the review. So you can see them, you have your blade guards here, and then obviously your blades, cool paint job or sticker or whatever this is, that's a neat finish on there and um, landing gears. It's just your standard mini quadcopter. So I'm going to go ahead, put batteries in it, make sure it's charged, and then we'll have my husband read through how to actually fly it, and we'll do a quick demo. My husband has spent a little bit of time uh, figuring this out, so he's going to take over at this point. Um, the battery itself, you, you plug it in, you, you stick it in there and you plug it in here, but you got to be careful because there's two metal prongs in there so when you put it in there you got to kind of you got to make sure you don't bend those prongs when you connect it um, so you have your red and your your blue red is the back blue is the front blinking means it's ready to connect and here's your remote control you turn it on and you press up and down on that to sync it it is now synced to the to the quadcopter now there's a couple things with this um, these are your directional trim these are your um, uh, left and right trim. Uh, these are also forward and back trim. This one right here is neat. I haven't seen this on a quadcopter yet. If you press and hold this one, the lights go off on the quadcopter. So you have you have just these two little beads in the front. I don't know if you can see those. Yep. Um, that's neat. Well, that'll save on battery power too, won't yeah, it? Yes, so it'll probably save on battery power. This other button, which I haven't tested it yet, but it says it's the one key return button. So that means that when you're up flying away, it's supposed to come back to you, I'm assuming, but I haven't tested it yet. <laughs> now, you pr if you press down and hold on this, you can go from low speed to high speed. So if I press down on it, that's low speed. If I press again, that's, that is the um, highest speed. So then you have over here, if you press, now here's the other cool feature, which I had to look it up to see what it means. Um, if you press and hold this one down, it's called headless mode. And what headless mode means is if you've ever flown a quadcopter before, you have a head and a tail. When you're flying it, you know, uh, I'll turn this off so I don't chop my fingers off here. Uh, when you're flying, you know, left, or right, when you turn it right, it'll go this way, forward, back, based on where 
based on where the head is of the quadcopter. Now in headless mode, it means there is no front or back, so it's good for beginners because if this thing turns around and is facing you, left is right, right is left, forward is back, it's, everything's complete opposite. But in headless mode, if you're this way or this way, it's still front and back. Got you. So if it spins and turns around on you, you're not going to be disoriented on your, your remote control settings. Okay. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Oh, and then if you press down on it quickly and down, left, or right, it'll do a flip in the air, and I'll show you that as well. So we're going to sync it. Very, very easy controls. So here, I'll do a flip. I'm not sure I got that. Wow, that was kind of a crappy flip. So. All right. I got that one. Uh, very nice to fly. Very. So. There, that's a. So that's really fast speed right there. So that's. See how quick it is now? Yeah. Uh, I lost it. There it is. Well, the dog bumped me. Uh, sure it did. So is there anything else that I need to know about this one? Uh, no, it's just like any other quadcopter, but it's it, it's got a couple cool things that I like. Um, these things are nice. They, they, they seem to be... Um, they don't look like they would catch on things as easy as some of them. And I really like these motor protectors here that are for like the landing of it and stuff. They kind of spring a little bit and stuff. But it's a pretty cool looking quadcopter. The only thing I don't like is the wire hanging out because, you know, it could get bent up and hit the blade. Um, but other than that... You can always that, like tape that down, right? No, not no? really. I think it's just designed to hang there, but... Okay. That's my only dislike about it, is you got these ugly wires kind of hanging out there. But there's nothing you can do, because it's a battery, you know? Got you. But other than that, it's pretty fun to ride. The um, size of it is really interesting, yeah, I mean, too, because we've done we've reviewed tiny little ones, and we've reviewed bigger ones, and we've had massive ones. But this is the first time we've had one this sort of between an extra small and a medium size. This yeah. is definitely a small. Yep. So it's a neat size. Very fast little thing. It scares the crap out of our cat, too, which is fantastic. So, we'll try the mode <laughs> so that's the headless mode. So, so I'm gonna. I'm, whoa. That's the fast mode. Yeah, that was the fast mode. We're Why gonna, is it beeping? Is it because it's in the headless it mode? It's in the headless mode. It, it tells you it's in the headless mode when it's beeping like that. Okay, that's good but, to know. Oh, see? This is. See? So when I crashed it, the. the, the uh, oh, I see it. The see, wire. The wire came up. So Touch gonna, the blade. Don't don't hurt yourself now. So you're gonna want to bend it back down. So that's my only thing with that is you know that that that's gonna happen. Um, but pretty cool little quadcopter. So the only difference really between this one and the other ones, there's no camera on this because um, it is quite small. Which is so, nice. Which is yeah, it's strictly for flying, not filming. And it's zippy, that's for sure. Cool. All right, well, I think that's it. I will put dimensions on the written part of the review, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Again, sorry we had to film this inside, but I'm not going outside right now in 10 degrees. Oh, uh, and there's a little boy right in the shot. You don't need this. Uh, this this one seems good for about. inside, right? Well, uh, if you know what you're doing, I mean, you don't want to... And if you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to... But that's what the guards are for. Yeah. Um, controller's really big. That's the other thing. It is. It's a very large. That's what I said when I opened up the packaging. Yeah, and in the instructions, I guess it depends on the model you have. It says that this metal thing is an LED, uh, like an LCD screen, but this one is not. It must be just a different kind of model. Okay. Yeah, it um, might be an upgrade or something. Yeah. Okay. Really well, cool quadcopter, though. Awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, we'll try our best to help you out. But for now, we hope that this was helpful. I already pointed out the batteries. That's a lot of batteries. That's a lot of batteries. <laughs>
<laughs> so, um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment.